Good evening, our dear viewers. Time for your English news edition coming up. At the National Assembly, opening of the second ordinary session. Nando Region News Somalia is Turkey's largest overseas military base. Those are top stories, and thanks for joining us in our newsroom. The National Assembly opened this morning its second session, the so-called budget session, which is devoted mainly to the examination of the state budget for the uh, financial year 2018. And this sermon sitting uh, uh, was opened by the President of the National Assembly, Mr. Muhammad Ali Muhammad, and all the members of the government, including Prime Minister Abdul Qadir Kamil Muhammad, Parliament, civilian and military officials, and members of the diplomatic corps uh, attended the session. A guest of honor followed this parliamentary re-entry, namely Mr. Murad Abdul Hadi, chairman of the executive committee of the Harar region. Upon arrival at the scene, the prime minister was warmly welcomed by the speaker of the National Assembly, surrounded by members of the executive bureau. And in his opening remarks, the president of the National Assembly immediately welcomed all the participants and guests. He pointed out that this so-called budgetary session entitled the responsibility of the two executive and legislative powers on the use of state funds on the distribution of funds at the level of all the institutions. The president of the Assembly seized this opportunity to congratulate President Smail Mbregeli for the prize award him by the Global Islamic Finance Award, which crowned this uh, commitment from Islamic finance. More details in this assembly president's speech. And for the Prime Minister Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed, the opening of the meeting of the budget is an important moment and will present the budget next year. The Minister of the Budget, in technical uh, collaboration with the authorities of the International Monetary Fund, provides in full agreement with the outlook of the Minister of the Economy and Finance a continuity of economic growth, which will be strong in 2020, with a rate of the world of 6 to 7 percent, he said. In the spite of still fragile international economic growth, our efforts, he insisted, will need uh, to continue to focus on the control of inflation fixed around 3.5%, the fact that of uh, stabilization of uh, prices of hydrocarbons into a lesser extent of foodstuffs. Based on the execution of the budget 2016-2017, the government wants to improve the effectiveness of public action in matters of budgetary management. The objectives of the government are always oriented toward the reform of taxation, economic growth, inclusive control of the debt in public finance, as well as financial inclusion. The mastery of the expenditure of the state and the efforts in the field of the consolidation of public finances remain, he said, a more than ever a government's priority. This is the budget of 2018, which reflects the policy of the government that will examine soon set a government and parliament uh, meeting. The priority sectors remain national education, vocational training, higher education and health. New school establishment and academics will indeed open their doors to respond to population growth to the objective of schooling for all young uh, people and the aim of strengthening the sp specialization of uh, students. On this last point, the new school of engineers will open its doors at the beginning of the school year in 2018. I want you also to confirm that the rules of good financial management and administrative are ap applied by the central administration will be extended to all public enterprises which will therefore have to comply with the same criteria to the requirements of good governance. This is one of the components, he said, of the administrative reform and this budget policy of the whole of the public sector will allow our economy to better benefit from the fruits of growth and its pillars of huge uh, public uh, investment which are achieved. And these have been carried out in the areas of transport, water, and the electricity mainly, in fact, many new ports will return in full activity to Raleigh, but also to Jorah and Gubet, has said the Prime Minister. And the economic and social impact will be more concentrated in Djibouti and the regions of the interior will also benefit the South Corridor toward the Ethiopia of the road. And when will be uh, renovated and enhanced, while the road corridor north from Tijora will be to see completion in the field of the water and the electricity, our independence for this production will be strong. 
strongly reinforced, he said, with the construction of the factory of desalinization of sea uh, water on the one hand, one of the projects geothermal and the use of uh, solar energy of the other. Does the government have, after having quickly satisfied the vital needs in these areas, is now moving into implementation of national production in these two fundamental areas of our population, in the free zone of Durale, which is on track to finish, and that along the road of Arta to a PK20 in the course of construction will accommodate uh, the present investors and in the future they will provide a better as just uh, services and they will attract new trade flows but also industrial estate thanks to the implementation of units of transformation whose production are intended for all the countries of the sub-region. The Prime Minister has continued with his speech for the second part. He said that the countries of IGAD, of the Comesa and the Arab League is and will be the recipient thanks to the trade agreements that we have with them. All these heavy investments have for the purpose of creation of permanent jobs for the Jibusians. The government has done since more than 15 years of efforts in the field of training, education and health to ensure that our youth can be inserted in the world of work with efficiency and competence. Um, but the government wants to go even further. He said the creation of jobs also passes by the creation of new small businesses that can develop in the margin of the large investment project. The Minister of Trade and Commerce launches a campaign to sensitize the population to the consumption of domestic products and to the creation of new businesses and today it's necessary to know that the solution is by the private sector and our fellow citizens must hear the truth and uh, do not believe those who make false promises. Also, the government has put in place a framework for a public partnership private and this new collaboration can be created jobs with the rules of operation of the private sector. With the improvement of administrative governance, the government wants to improve uh, and provide better delivery of services to the population. For this, it's going to uh, pursue the modernization of the administration, making more efficient more near and in the service of the citizen. The government asks us to issue administrative service in the relations with the, uh, with the administration to put in place a reception decks and information and this will be an obligation in creating telephone service as well. Uh, always with this concern to facilitate the lives of our fellow citizens, the government will also continue and accelerate implementation of this and a force concrete step in this approximation between the population and the administration. It is not normal that to speak to a ministerial department it is uh, necessary to come at the bottom of Belbela or districts of the interior in Djibouti. Each department will need to arrange the creation of an antenna in the region regions and it is not normal also, also that to receive a salary or a pension or pay tax it is not necessary to come to Djibouti, say the government there will deal. And the Minister of the Budget is already responsible for the application of this measure. The whole of population is concerned and nobody will be forgotten. The access to public service for the persons with disabilities is also a government's requirement. On all disabilities uh, must be considered auditory or visual. The population of regions outlying uh, must be able to benefit from the same services, either for the school, for the access of water or electricity, or even for the insertion of the economic, as well as the uh, microcredits and assistance more. They rely for this often on NGOs in the first rank of which is located the UNIVD, which intervenes in all the countries, uh, not only for women, but also for the disabled, the young children, abandoned children. Ladies and gentlemen, he said, the disintegration will not be uh, limited only to the devotion of the administration. The regional elections were held with the renewal of the elected local and regional authorities. The participation in the political life of the region is in this report on each of those. This great democratic advance will be conducted to this term. It is great uh, government priority. It is sampled by the foundation for the housing created by the President of the Republic for testimony to its commitment in this area. Very many social housing and means in standing have been uh, created uh, in Hodan 1 and 2 as well in Belbella have been among the first programs but thousands of others were constructed, he said. And finally, among the great expectations of the population, the problem of the security remains prominent, he said. Also, our population wants to keep this precious uh, well peace. The President of the Republic has always wanted to maintain the best relations. The nation will confront to these assaults that they be directed indirect by the intermediate of mercenaries and terrorist extremists, as in the case with Eritrea. The government will therefore remain very vigilant against the troublemakers and all those who attack 
the people and property. In opposition of installations, many years in Europe, he said, are trying the same of talking with the assistance of any kind of association and doing uh, as well the social and political lives. Jibusins. The government remained vigilant on all uh, fronts and as soon as the present time go to meetings, he asked the parliamentarians of our fellow citizens for their indicators as well all the access of development on the whole of the country in order each of us can see with his own eyes in acceleration. The Prime Minister, His Excellency Ismail and uh, Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed, uh, has uh, uh, received in audience the President of the Region, Harar uh, Murad Abdullah, this Sunday, October 1st, 2017. The meeting took place in the presence of the President of the National Assembly, Muhammad Ali, and the President of the Region of Harar states in the capital the invitation of the President of the Assembly to participate in a meeting at the opening of the work of the National Assembly in the Harar House, where we thanked the Prime Minister for his warm welcome and, and stressed the historical and cultural link binding the two countries for a long time. He indicated that he was uh, at, at home here in Djibouti and that it was a respect reciprocal of uh, Djibouti in general to, the, to be at home in Harare. This official visit of the President of the Region of Harare does demonstrate the interest of the city of Harare to strengthen the cultural and historical links and to put in place projects of cooperation. Continuing with the national news, the Minister of Defense in charge of relations with the Parliament, Ali Hassan Badon, has received today the Ambassador of, the, of Russia, Sergei Kazmutu in his uh, cabinet, in addition to the Minister of Defense, took part in the hearing. The military technical advisor of the ministry, as well as the Council of the Embassy of Russia in Djibouti, during their talks, uh, the two sides rejoiced at the excellence of rela bilateral relations in both fields in general and that of military cooperation in particular. Health Minister Dr. Jamal Bioki met yesterday afternoon in his office with the Director General of IAM, International Organization for Migrants, Mr. William Lassis Wink. The leader was accompanied by IAM's local office manager in Djibouti, Mrs. Lalini Varasini, and the meeting is part of the regional tour of the Mrs. Wink's uh, Director General in Djibouti, Yemen and Burma. Discussions between the senior UN official and the Health Minister focused on ways and means to strengthen assistance to the migrants in distress, including medical care. Health Minister Dr. Jamal Mioki called for strengthening of the partnership between the Ministry of Health and the local IOM office to ensure and sustain the activities of medical care for migrants given their growing influx. And in an intervention, the Minister of Health, Dr. Jamal Mioki, and I am Director General, uh, agreed on the implementation of this enhanced partnership in the director of better assistance for migrants in the Republic of Djibouti. The director of the Rural Hydraulic, Mrs. Suad Suleiman, has denied this information referred to before the highest authorities of the country yesterday at the meeting of citizens of the RPP party. The director has admitted uh, in an intervention that there are breaks by time because of, as well as of water line that defeats Yaboki uh, from a drilling located 10 kilometers. The service concern performs uh, the repairs in less than 48 hours. The rehabilitation of these lands is in the agenda for 20 18 she has indicated. Following the climate weather of yesterday that caused stinking rain water to appear in some areas of Cabral, the National Institute of Public Health of Djibouti, known as the INSPD, has seized the urgency to carry out a vast operation combined throughout the capital to prevent and eliminate any form of proliferation of uh, or mosquitoes. Indeed, uh, the NCP has uh, opted for a multi uh, strategy that combines several complementary actions in anti-vectorial fire carried out by the Ministry of Health. The first step is to evacuate the stagnant storm water uh, through an emptying truck to dry the flooded areas. And on this, the director of the institute said uh, this will be reinforced by spreading activities that involve uh, the spread of bio insisters uh, that have uh, prov proven to be effective in eliminating mosquitoes uh, level in urban areas with uh, virtuality no environmental impact. In the framework of the bilateral and fraternal cooperation between the Republic of Djibouti and the Republic of Turkey, 
a Djibouti delegation from the various technical uh, departments linked to the management of the city of Djibouti will pay a working visit from 24 and 30 September 2017 to Istanbul, Turkey, composed of the uh, frameworks of the executives of the Ministry of Housing of Town of Environment, the Ministry Delegate to the Ministry of Housing of Environment as well in charge of housing, the Ministry of Budget, Ministry of Transport Equipment, the city of Djibouti. Uh, this working visit follows an invitation from the Istanbul City Council and the main objective of this visit is to share good practices and experience in the development and urban management of the municipality of Istanbul. During their visit, the Djiboutian delegation met with senior officials from the APITA and Urban Development Directorate of the Istanbul City Council, the IPTAS company responsible for the construction of social housing, the IAT company in charge of the transport management of the city of Istanbul. Dr. Mohamed Ali Kamil, Ambassador Extraordinary of Penitentiary of the Republic of Djibouti in Russia Federation, presented to the President of the Republic of Belarus, His Excellency Alexander Lukashenko, his letters of credence in his capacity as Ambassador Extraordinary and Penitentiary of the Republic of Djibouti to the Republic of Belarus uh, with resident of Moscow. As well, the head of uh, the pillar state of the Belarus, uh, for his part, asked the new ambassador to convey his best greetings to his Jibusian counterpart. He praised the determination shown by the Jibusian president in his effort to promote peace in the Horn of Africa region and the unmeeting efforts to combat maritime piracy and security of the main shipping route. And now, uh, the regional scene. Turkey has inaugurated Somalia's largest foreign military training center. Somalia's fragile institutions, including the army, are being supported by the international community, including the deployment of 22,000 strong African Union forces in Somalia and MISOM in the support of the United States. Said Mohammed has more to tell us. Somali and Turkish officials on Saturday officially opened a military training base in the Somali capital, Mogadishu. The facility is Turkey's largest overseas military training camp. Somalia Prime Minister Hassan Ali Khere was joined by the Turkish Army Chief General Hulusi Akar and other top officials for the ceremony. Turkey is seen as a major security and development ally of the Somali people. President Erdogan last year opened the country's new embassy also in Mogadishu. The Horn of Africa region, given its strategic location, is a choice location for the military base by foreign powers. Neighboring countries like Djibouti, for instance, host bases for China, France, and Japan. In July last year, the Somali government ordered the shutdown of an organization linked to Fethullah Gulen, the supposed mastermind of a failed coup in Turkey. There were also nationwide protests held in support of Erdogan government. The relation between Turkey and Somalia date back of the Ottoman Empire when Somalia had extensive relation with the Sultan Selim during his rule in Major headlines from the African continent. The city of uh, Bamenda, the center of crisis in the Anglophone Cameroon, is holding its breath as October 1st approaches restrained by the secessionists to proclaim in the independence for the two areas formerly under the British administration. More information in the following video. The city of Bamenda, the center of crisis in the Anglophone Cameroon, is holding its breath as October 1st approach restrained by the secession is to proclaim independence for the two areas formerly under the British administration. Part of its inhabitants have decided to take refuge in neighboring cities like Bafusam and Mbuda or in Douala in UND. On behalf of the safeguarding of public order and national unity, government force have been deployed to the region to prevent any disorder by the potential secessionists. A massive police presence also contributes to the increase in the atmosphere. The Anglophone crisis in Cameroon began in November 2016 by the claim brought by a lawyer and teachers. These last few weeks it has taken a new turn with demonstration leading to even explosion of homemade bombs in Bamenda and Douala. About 20% of the 22 million Cameroon Cameroonians protest against what it called its marginalization in education and the judiciary particular is not another than very fact, very fact according to them.
group now of more than 60 uh, people have been arrested during a neo-Nazi rally in counter demonstration demonstrations in Sweden's second largest city, according to police, to rely by the Nordic resistance movement in Gothenburg on Saturday, featured an estimated 600 people, short of the 1,000 supporters. Uh, the group said will attend more updates in this video. A neo-Nazi rally in Sweden has ended with dozens of arrests after anti-fascist clash with members of the Nordic resistance movement. Hundreds of members of the Nordic resistance movement has planned to march through the city of Gothenburg, but troubles broke out between the police and the far-right group when they tried to deviate from the agreed route. The leaders of the group, Simon, Lin Simon Lindbergh, was among those arrested. Some anti-fascists were also detained. The Nordic resistance movement described itself as a national socialist. Group N is not banned. It aimed to stop mass migration and fight with what it called global Zionist elite. Police were deployed from across Sweden to help manage the rally. That's all for this edition. Thank you for following us on RTD channel. Have a good night.